Hey guys, Captain Mike, whiskey and literature. Here on the channel, we think of ourselves as a primarily literature driven channel, the books, the stories, but sometimes we bring the whiskey in. Today, we have the some whiskey today. This is Captain's out of town. I was gonna buy two, maybe three bottles, but I went a little crazy and I bought seven bottles. I think seven bottles could be considered a haul. Yes, I was only gonna buy three. And I was still gonna do the video. Would that have been a haul? I don't think so. But is there a minimum for a whiskey haul? I don't know, but I think seven does count. And the great thing is, now I'm at 99 bottles of whiskey. I have one bottle to go to hit my 100 bottle limit, which I said with Mrs. Captain, and frankly, we don't have any room in the house right now to go more than 100 bottles of whiskey. While she might be upset about how much whiskey I bought today, the velocity of the whiskey that I've been buying is gonna slow down, because now as I finish one bottle, I'll buy another bottle. And if you have a suggestion for which bottle should be my 100th bottle of whiskey, let me know in the comments below. And if you're like, well, I don't know how much, what whiskey you have. Uh, I've done two videos. One is titled Too Much Whiskey. You can watch that video. I'll link it below. And then I have a short. If you want to see which whiskeys I have, and you'll see what I have today. And then feel free to suggest what should be my 100th bottle of whiskey. Today, I bought seven. But let's get into it. And it's my first bottle of whiskey today. And I've been watching some uh, whiskey tubes, Whiskey Tribe. I don't think that's their channel, but they call themselves that maybe. They're kind of Scotch and Irish driven, kind of forward uh, channel. And obviously I've been watching some of their stuff today because I actually bought three Irish whiskeys. And not on purpose exactly, but I wasn't really thinking about it. I just picked up some that looked good to me. So I'm starting out here and I'm gonna butcher all of these names. Connemara, Connemara, Tapeated, Single malt Irish whiskey. This is the original one. And I paid $46.99 for this at one of my local, it's kind of a Florida chain. They sell MSRP, which is nice. And I did pay an MSRP for, I think, almost all of my whiskeys today, except one, the last one. But I'm excited to get in this one. I've been doing some more Isle scotches, so very peaty, peaty forward. So, I'm excited to get into this bottle. And before I have to say this for every one of the whiskeys that I bought today, I have not tasted any of these whiskeys. Not at once. I'm not gonna say that for every time, but I'm still kind of a new drinker and going through this stuff. Here's a Baker's Bourbon. Baker's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 107 proof. It's a single barrel. And let's see. Again, I bought this one at a Florida uh, liquor store. I paid $58.99 for this. I've heard some good things about it. I've been liking uh, single barrels and higher proof stuff. 107, that's kind of a nice sweet spot. I've been looking for some Kentucky Owl. I haven't really found what I thought would be interesting to me. I saw this on the shelf today and rolled the dice with a bottle of Kentucky Owl bourbon whiskey. Limited edition, St. Patrick's edition. And I bought this at a big box liquor store that sells a lot of wine. And I paid $117.50 for this bottle. I've never had any Kentucky Owl at all. But kind of a cool looking bottle. Limited edition, so I picked it up. So, Zach Tanner, 3561 or some number on one of my videos. He suggested I get some Pendleton. Canadian whiskey. So again, at the big box retailer today, I picked up some Pendleton rye, 1910. It's a 12 year old rye. I'm Mrs. Captain and I, we've been kind of rye forward lately. Maybe it's a, the spice. I'm not sure what we've been really enjoying about the rye, but I know Mrs. Captain, she's not really a bourbon person. When she drinks wine, she drinks the uh, dry wine. She's gone away from the sweet wines and she loves spicy foods. So maybe that kind of makes sense that she likes rice because they are a little spicier and not as sweet as a bourbon. So I guess it actually makes sense when I was thinking about it earlier today. Pendleton Rye, thank you Zach Tanner. I'm gonna get into it and see how it is. So Red Rust, never had any Red Rust. This is a 12 year. 
Single pot still, Irish whiskey. I think this is just kind of their workhorse. This is their mainstay. So I've, I'm excited to get into it. I've been doing a lot of uh, Irish whiskey lately. I'm a big fan of Middleton and their products. And I've been learning, they've actually manufactured quite a bit, quite a bit of uh, whiskey in the Irish whiskey community. Oh, and I paid $65.84 for the Red Breast at the Big Box retail store. Again, the Whiskey Tribe guys, whatever those guys' names are, I'm sorry. Uh, they were talking about Teely, so, and this is the one they were talking about, but I went ahead and grabbed this. It's at my local liquor store. This one I go to, it's right around the corner from me, trying to establish a relationship with uh, this guy there. And he actually had a pretty good deal on this, and it was less than at the Big Box stores. Teeling Black Pits. And interesting enough, when I was watching the Whiskey Drop guys, they were talking about the Konamara and saying that it was the only, I believe, peated whiskey, peated Irish whiskey. I believe if that's what I remember correctly. But I just realized this uh, Teeling Black Pits, also it says peated single malt. I bought it because it's cool looking my uh, can there and they were really pushing the tooling so we'll see how that is and the last bottle I was at this local liquor store everything there is above MSRP I'm aware of that I overpaid for this bottle a little bit and at first I had a rare 15 year old and I put that back and I did not creep 15 I've been wanting to not creep 15 or 18 I saw that I had it in my hand, I had the rare, then I went to Knob Creek, and then I went to the uh, counter there, and I saw something else I've been kind of looking forward to. I almost bought on this bottle at a different local liquor store a couple weeks ago, and they wanted $2.49 for it, and I was like, eh, I passed on that one, I feel good about it. And so this is what I got. Uh, E.H. Taylor, small batch, bottled in bond. I paid $179 for this uh, today, which I know, it's open MSRP, but I don't feel like it was that much open MSRP. Maybe? I don't know, what do you think? Would you have paid $179 for this bottle and bond if you never had any, never tried it? Uh, you haven't seen it at this price. This was at least $70 lower than I've seen it anywhere at any store. So I bought it today, and these are my seven bottles. What do you think? I think it's a nice uh, selection. I got some bourbons, I got a rye, I got some Irish whiskeys. Got a peated one and not peated, so I'm excited about what I got today. Again, if you have a suggestion for my 100th bottle of whiskey, comment below. Tell me what you think. If you like my content, uh, like this video, subscribe. We are primarily about the books and the stories, but whiskey, that's where it's at too. So there's definitely going to be some more and more whiskey videos as we go along. Hey guys, thanks for everything. I hope you're reading something good, drinking something good. Turn those pages. Stay thirsty.